Hey, it's your boy Soul. How you doing? Uh, I'm going to do a different video today. This is going to be my little mini series. I'm going to probably release every so often. I'm going to call it Art School Tales. I might change the title a little later, but for now, we'll keep it like that. So this is going to be a little series where I just talk about my experiences in uh, art college. I'm not going to use any actual names or even tell what the college is either. I'm just not going to tell you that. I respect for them and anybody else. Okay. Okay, so I called this one not good enough because that's a good place for me to start in all this. You see, I'll be pretty humble about this. When I started off in uh, art, I wasn't that great. I'll be honest about that one. I wasn't. I mean, even the process when I was trying to get into uh, art college, I remember I had a hard time because uh, they just didn't think myself was good enough straight up. And I like I poured my heart and soul into that stuff too, man. Like I really, really pushed it, and I just felt like I just wasn't good enough. I kept trying and trying, and finally they let me in. I was so happy. I was so pleased. Like, oh man, it's gonna be great. So it didn't get any better, to be honest. I've had, uh, I mean, my first year I was uh, in animation. Uh, I completely sucked at animation. Only one animation because this is the one thing I really love. I love animation in general. You know what I'm saying? Particularly 2D animation. That's why that's why I grew up on, especially in the 90s. I'm a 90s kid. I, I grew up on that stuff. And I remember uh, I just wasn't feeling it on that. I just wasn't. I was feeling the classes. I I felt like I wasn't even learning anything. Heck, half the time they expect me to just already know some stuff, even though. I'm from Detroit, where we don't have a whole lot of um, <clears throat> options, like certain other races. I'll be honest about that one. I'm not trying to make it sound racist. I'm not trying to make it a, a black-white thing. I'm just saying it's more like a class thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a social class type of thing. We didn't have that stuff. So I didn't have Photoshop. I didn't have Illustrator. We didn't have that stuff. What's and to give you a perspective when this happened, this is like early 2000s when I went to college. I'm like, I'm a 36 year old man, okay? I'm 36. I, back then, Photoshop and stuff like that for me was so rare to even come across. Oh, it was super expensive back then, too. Oh my God, so expensive. I mean, it is now, but nowhere near as it was before, though. And, man, I remember a whole lot of things, like uh, a lot of students were either very kind, kind of snobbish. They weren't all snobbish. They weren't, but some definitely were. And some just expect you to just know things, you know what I mean? Just, you just, you should know it, man. You should just know it. I'm just like, I just learned this right now. And you expect me to know this? What? And the art world, this is, you guys perspective what the art world is like, okay? This is a real perspective. The art world in general, the art world can be pretty uh, cutthroat. I mean, they told us that even when we began, it was going to be cutthroat. It was so cutthroat, I straight up quit animation. I just, I couldn't do it, man. I just really couldn't do it. And so I switched over to illustration on my one of my advisors. And I'm glad he told me that because illustration is exactly what I really was more for. And number one theme I kept having throughout uh, art school or college, whatever you want to call it, was this one particular thing that I just couldn't get around. I just wasn't good enough. That was a theme that kept popping up almost every, just something, you know, just, just something every time. Like any class I went. Now, granted, my grades went up higher and higher because my skills got better too. 
But man, I fought for that. I remember several times people calling me lazy. I was I wasn't trying hard enough, even though they're not around me all the time, so they don't see what I'm really doing. Which is constantly practicing, going to like little museums and stuff. I'm going to extra classes just to get better at like just basic figure study. You know what I mean? Like or even like just coloring too. Even coloring, I have problems. Maybe people thought I was like, probably just, you know, I was probably, uh, you know, you know, oh, he's, he's just, he's black, so he's probably uh, given a, uh, you know, poor, poor me story and got in, even though that's not true at all. Like, not even close. I actually worked my ass off. It's called working your ass off. To even get a little smidge of respect. You understand what I'm saying here? So, uh, yeah. Art world's tough. Like any other place, though. It's, it's gonna be tough, no matter what you do. We critique each other all the time. Uh, my critiques weren't great, but I got better. I improved every single time. I can see myself improving. In fact, I remember what it was one time I had that one, I had this one teacher. I will not say her name. But she she was just total she was she was a bitch to me. Whole time. Just the whole time. Like anytime I show any improvement, she just give me like a backhand compliment. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what the hell do you want from me, woman? Like, why can't you be like this person or this person? Cause Cause I'm not. I'm just me. But this narrative kept popping up. This little narrative. Where he just kept saying, Oh, you're just not trying hard enough. Maybe I wasn't at the time. I mean, I, I had to goof off a little bit. It was college, man. I ain't gonna goof off a little bit. But I did do the work. I sat my butt down. I went to the studios. I talked to people. I tried to get some pointers. But the one fundamental thing I'm noticing a whole lot of instructors had, the problem they were having was, they didn't, uh, seems some don't quite realize, everybody evolves or grows at a totally different pace. My pace is just slower. I have to go slow before I go fast. Now, should I probably move to California? Yeah. I probably have better perspectives. Right now I'm in Detroit. I am from time to time a freelance illustrator. It's not easy. No. It is a struggle every day. It is a struggle every day. But I work my ass off. I do the work. And I prove it too. And every time I get better and better. Can I improve in some spots? Yeah, I admit that. But until right now, where I was about 10, 15 years ago, compared to right now, is like, it's just like this background, light years. It's light years difference. So. I always, I mean, ever since college, I, I always have that, that nagging thought in my brain that says, am I good enough? Am I? Yeah, I am. I am. I full confidence in myself. I don't give a damn what someone says. I can listen to the critique. I can listen. I can take the criticism. But don't tell somebody they're not good enough. That's happened to me more than once. And I proved them wrong later on. But that's all I gotta say today. And if you want to support me, please go to patreon.com slash soulstarsborn. Descriptions are in the links below. 
have a great day and please 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 click the next video for an awesome speed paint